Shaky video footage like this can be quite annoying to watch. Fortunately though, there's a technology that can help reducing the shakiness of a video, and it's called image stabilization. But there are two different kinds of stabilization. There's optical stabilization, and there's also digital stabilization. And although they do the exact same thing, which is stabilizing the image, their working principles are completely different, which means they both have their own pros and cons. So in this video, we are going to compare these two different kinds of stabilization. So let's start with optical image stabilization. Optical stabilization could be seen as mechanical or physical stabilization, since optical stabilization relies on moving components inside the camera. Here's how it works. Let's say you accidentally tilt the camera a little bit. A gyroscopic sensor in the camera detects this and sends information to a microprocessor. This processor then controls some electric motors that physically move parts of the lens or the sensor of the camera in order to compensate for the tilt, and all of this happens in real time. This way, small movements of the camera can be eliminated so that they don't end up in the video. The main advantage of optical stabilization is that there is no loss of quality in the video. The video quality is exactly the same with or without stabilization. Also, the footage looks very natural. You don't see that it's been stabilized. If you don't really get that, I'll explain it in a minute or so. The disadvantage of optical stabilization is that it has to be done inside the camera while filming. You can't do it using software afterwards. Then there's also digital stabilization. Digital stabilization works in a very different way. Let's say we're recording a video of someone's face and the camera is shaking a little bit. Of course, the frame is moving in the real world and the face is still, but when played on a computer screen, the frame is still, which means the face is now moving. Here's what digital stabilization does in order to stabilize this video. First, a computer motion tracks some reference points in the video, so let's just say it motion tracks the face. Then it creates a smaller video frame within the original frame. So the original frame might be 1920 by 1080 pixels, and this new smaller frame could be, I don't know, 1600 by 900 pixels. Then the computer simply moves this smaller frame with the face, and then it cuts out the original video frame, and there you have it. The face is now still, and the footage is stabilized. What's nice about digital stabilization is that it can be done by the camera while recording, but it can also be done by a computer in post-production. Also, it's much cheaper to implement since you don't need any moving parts in the camera. The main disadvantage of digital stabilization is loss of quality. The video resolution goes down since the computer creates a smaller frame within the original video. Also, now we get to the part where I clarify why optical stabilization looks natural compared to digital stabilization. Here's the problem. When you stabilize a video using digital stabilization, the video might be steady, but the camera moved in the real world, so there's going to be motion blur. So that's why digitally stabilized videos look kind of weird. They are steady, and yet there is motion blur all over the place. So, there you go. Now hopefully you know a little more about the differences between optical and digital stabilization. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.